And you may ask yourself, why does Bobby Khan have the keys to the universe? That's a good question. I don't really know myself. All I know is that we just came back from a tour of Europe. And in the town of Hamburg, Germany, these keys were cast. 35 keys. 35 keys were cast out of molten brass. My blood, my hair, and my semen combined to make a key to the universe with my face on the head of it. And you may ask yourself, Bobby, what can these keys do? Well, you, sir. You're a lonely man. I can tell. There's someone you want to meet. Someone you've been too scared to talk to. You don't know how to talk to her. You don't know what to say. You're shy every time you, you get clipped up inside. But with the key to the universe, you can go to her house when she's sleeping. You unlock the door. You go up the stairs. You lie down in the bed next to her. And then in the morning, after a good night's sleep, you turn to her and then you have that conversation you've always wanted to have. With the key to the universe, you can do this. You, ma'am, you looking away from me, you. You're not happy with your job. I can tell that. You've been asking your boss for a raise for, for months now. He's not listening. With the key to the universe, you go into his office. You have the key. You go to his computer. You have the password. You enter into the human resources database. You give yourself a generous raise. A few days of extra paid vacation. With the key to the universe, you can do this. Bobby, can the key to the universe cure blindness? No, it cannot. The key to the universe can only open and reveal that which cannot be seen. But if you can't see it, you still won't be able to. Think about that. Bobby! Bobby, can the key to the universe, can it feed the hungry? No, it cannot. But if there's food in the cupboard and the cupboard is locked, the key to the universe can open the cupboard. And you may share the food with the hungry if you so choose. It's your choice, or you may eat it for yourself. And I don't want to alarm you, but I feel I must say this, because there are only five keys to the universe remaining, and there are clearly more than five of you here. So most of you, most of you are going to be leaving tonight, today, this afternoon, without the key to the universe. Exactly, you're thinking, I don't need one. But on the back of the package, it says very clearly, better you have one when the Armageddon comes. Better you have one when the Armageddon comes. And the thing is, I think the Armageddon has been scheduled for August 13th, and that is... <laughs> Did you practice any of this? <laughs> scheduled for August 13th, and that's not far away, and I would hate for you to leave when the Earth swallows you up on August 13th, thinking to yourself, I could have purchased the key to the universe, but I did not take that opportunity. And I'm sorry for those of you that don't buy it, but anyway, the key to the universe, it's here tonight. Five remaining keys. Beautiful brass keys with my face on the head. We're gonna leave you with one song that Monica Boo Boo is not gonna sing. <coughs> wow!
O-M-G, Bobby Cox.